like everyone's in my car right now for some reason listening to whatever this song is. I don't know. What it is. It's a song I wrote. Oh, it is? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so yeah. Just hi. This is not awkward at all. Fairview was an institution for people with developmental disabilities. It is important to realize that these people are relatively happy in the facilities provided by the state of Oregon. I was lonesome and just felt like a prison. 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 I am here, the Fairview Insane Asylum. All right, so this, right behind me. Oh. This is the uh, Fairview Insane Asylum. It was established in 1907 as the state institution for the feeble-minded. It's a mental hospital, basically. Uh, opened in, on December 1st, 1908, with 39 patients transferred from the Oregon State Hospital here in Salem. For the insane. But it's also, as you just saw, uh, Salem police just left and they didn't even talk to me. I just waved at them and they waved back. So I think we're good just uh, standing here and not actually going into the property. If I were to actually go into the property, however, I would probably suffer some, uh, some fines from the state police or the city police. Anyways, in 1981, more than 1,300 Oregonians with developmental disabilities lived at the Fairview Training Center. Yeah, I am. All right, so I uh, just talked to that guy. He uh, actually knew some people who, uh, who worked here and stuff, so that's pretty crazy. Anyway, so. In 1981, more than 1,300 Oregonians with developmental disabilities lived here at Fairview Training Center in Salem, where for decades, these patients were actually considered inmates, not patients, inmates. Anyways, prior to residents at Fairview tell stories of being disciplined in leather cuffs, razor straps, cow whips, and even isolation cages. Here, they did that here for many years throughout the 20th century. It's uh, ridiculous. This place is probably the creepiest, strangest place I have ever made a video on. And in fact, it's the only one. A patient here at Fairview described it, described being disciplined with razor straps and said, in quote, it stings really bad. Another patient, in quote, says, uh, they, are, they were strict at Fairview. You got beat up, yelled at. They put, they put you in closets. They put us in closets. That's what, that's what a patient specifically said right here. I found this right off of Google. Anyways, I did a lot of research about this place. Whether or not these things were actually said or whether or not these were act this was actually true, I don't know. But what I do know is that some very shady 
stuff have happened here. A lot of crazy stuff have happened here. That's why it was shut down by the state in 2000. In fact, I'm gonna get to that right now. Before its closure in 2000, Fairview, had, Fairview was administered by the Oregon Department of Human Services. At 1.15 p.m. on February 24, 2000, the last resident left Fairview to begin his own to begin his life in the community. DHS also continued to operate Eastern Oregon Training Center in Pendleton, Oregon, until uh, until October of 2009. And I, this is just one more thing here. One more thing that was also said here. In 1985, the United States Justice Department investigated determined resident residents. Uh, faced with life-threatening conditions uh, following a federal civil rights lawsuit right here in, in Fairview. Fairview closed in the year 2000, with most remaining patients rehoused in the community. And that, my friends, is the Fairview Training Center, one of the weirdest and strangest places I've ever done a report on. So, anyways, guys, this has been CJ. resident here specifically said these exact words. <clears throat> Another quote. Another quote said Fairview closed in 2000 with the 